YouTubes. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. I'm just going to show you the next job that I'm going to be doing. It's a Land Rover Discovery Sport and initially it was in for um, this door was the wrong colour and the paint was quite faded and the finish wasn't very nice. So initially it was in for this door to be painted and blended into the adjacent panels but when we started prepping it there was all micro blistering across the top of this door so we dug all that primer and stuff off and it revealed this repair but to be fair the repair feels okay so we're not going to re-skim that it feels it feels decent so they've done a decent repair on there so we're going to be obviously priming that now and then on the blend panel we discovered that there it looked like it had, had a, a pdr done on here so a paintless dent repair and um, it was all sort of pushed out and ripply and it didn't look very nice and there was a bit of scratching through here as well um, so we spoke to a customer we said we could sort of do some colour onto the scratching um, if you wanted to leave leave the dent um, but no he, he, he wanted that gone as well so we've done a repair on it now so yeah it turned out a little bit bigger than what it initially came in for um, so yeah, so in this video, I'm going to get this in primer. It's all prepped up already and the repairs done. So I'm going to get this in primer and then uh, once it's all prepped and masked up, we do some uh, we we do some videoing on the on the painting stage. So yeah, I'm, I'm sort of always trying to experiment with the videos, and you know, it's all been a learning curve for me since I started doing this. Um, you try and look at, I don't know, what videos are more popular. I'm always concerned about the length for my videos. Um, but I do like, I've, you know, this is all new to me. So I do like to try and show, every, you know, what on one job, to try and show every stage that we do. Um, but then it makes the videos lengthy. It makes the editing lengthy for me as well. It takes me a long time on some of the bigger jobs. Like all day Sunday sometimes, <laughs> so um, I'm going to try and mix it up, some just painting, try and break some videos down so it's just a, re a repair stage or filler work or you know, I'm just, just going to try and mix it up, I, you know, i just got to go with, with what I think, I, I don't know to be honest with you, it's what people like, I'd, I'd love feedback from people what they like what they like seeing more. I suppose the spraying stage is the best stage to watch it on channels like this. Um, a lot of other people that do, you know, do YouTube uh, videos on on this industry. It's mainly the, the spraying, because that's like the glory bit that people like watching, and that's the bit I like watching. So yeah, some videos I'm just gonna do spraying, some I might just show repair stages. Um, and as well, I'm not sure on, putting music over it all. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try some videos without music over the over the spray and try and keep it in real time or just time lapse some of it. Um, but f any feedback from from anyone what they what they like. I know everyone's opinions are different, but yeah any feedback's welcome. Good or bad. <laughs> I'm not bothered. So um yeah anyway I'm gonna get this masked up, get some primer on it and then uh, once it's all prepped and masked up I'll, um, I'll start recording the spraying stage. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to blend the colour. It's a bit tight, but should be okay. So this I have a coat of blender, uh, blender coat all over it. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to have to try and blend tight here. And then it'll, it'll be blending around here and blending into the wing. So I'll get this all masked up and I'll get some primer on it.
Oh, I've got to stop saying right. So that's the. So that's the Land Rover Discovery all prepped and masked up, ready to paint. So I'll give you a quick look. A couple of little breakthroughs, I've had to just blow a little bit of primer on that. And um, it's all prepped to grease and masked and ready to go. So I'll just quickly talk you through the guns that I'm using on this and what I'm going to use. So I'm going to give it a coat of blender first, so a blender coat over the whole job. And that's going to go on with a base coat gun. So it's like SATA X5500 and I've got a new setup on this so I've only done a couple of jobs with it so far so yeah I'm really liking it so I've gone from a 1.3i uh, to a 1.2i so it's just a little bit of a finer coat with a 1.2i 1.2 is recommended by MEPA so yeah so 1.2i on that for the blender coat and the base coat and then the clear coat's going to go on with SATA Jet CC 5500cc so it's all ready to go uh, I've got all my paint mix so I'll get all the booth on get my mask on and we'll get painted
right that's the Land Rover Discovery all all finished and fitted up I think I've cracked my settings for the ca camera outside in the sun I think it looks a bit better anyway so um, yeah I'll give you a quick look it all come out okay probably a bit hard to see in this light all the finish looks all right give it a little flat and a polish there's the odd nib here and there nothing major polished up nice and um yeah i'm happy with the finish all blended in well and um yeah i'm really um you know that's a few jobs now i've done with the cc about four or five jobs that i've painted with it now with the sarta jet cc gun and um yeah starting to hone in on a, a bit on it and um yeah really starting to enjoy enjoy it i'm pleased with the results and to, to be honest with you the the change in the my base coat gun from a 1.3i to a 1.2i it's it's made a massive difference to the way the base coat lays lays down i'm quite quite surprised what a difference it's made actually um it just seems I'm not losing any coverage or anything like that but it just seems to put a, just a nice finer flatter finish on with a base coat which is that's the biggest difference to be honest with you there's a slight difference with a with, with my 1.2i on my SAT 5500 and then the 1.3 cc there's a difference you know but it's quite it's it's quite slight really it's, it's not a major difference um, but it's quite a major difference between a 1.2i and a 1.3i on the on the HVLP on the base coat um, so yeah the, with the paint that I use me for water they that's what they recommend with a SATA is a 1.2 um, but I've said in previous videos it wasn't available for the for the future edition that I've got so changing that setup is yeah it's it's made a it's made a big difference so um yeah i'll keep practicing with it and uh yeah keep keep using it and um and yeah tell you if i know any other differences so yeah that's it for this video um yeah it's just a painting video i hope you enjoyed it and um yeah we'll see you again in the next one cheers <laughs>